So using a tripod, it would be, um, I don't have a good uh, mount for it, a good head for it, but it would be something very simple as you have your camera on top of it and you would just, you know, imagine, hold on. It's kind of janky because we're on a webcam, but imagine, you know, my notebook is a, is a, a table, right? I would put my, there'd be a little grip on top of here. Imagine this is my hands are the grip and it would just rest here. Very simple. If you're, if you're interviewing, like if you're, if you're interviewing yourself, if you're talking to camera yourself and you wanted this video to be about your story, you could film with your selfie camera, right? Set up your, on a tripod again, and then talk into your camera. Video editing softwares today are pretty good at accepting a lot of different file formats. Yeah. Um, the TIFF one, I, I, I can't say I'm familiar with. You can attempt to uh, drag and drop it into your software and it'll tell you if it's not working whereas really accept a lot of different file formats. Okay. Because that, that, that would be great footage to use in your video if you can use that historical footage from this. That would be... So those are generally the two most accepted ones. MP4 is standard, just like MOV is. MOV is mostly for um, Apple products. Generally, they film in .MOV. So if you're filming on an iPhone... Um, they'll uh, save your video as a .mov, and that can upload to YouTube, no problem. It's more or less the same thing. So those are the two, and I think it mentions it on the contest page that uh, those are the two file formats that, that uploaders should focus on. So use uh, .mov or .mp4, and all editing software can export to either file or format asking yourselves questions, coming up with ideas. Like I showed you the basics of a text animation, but it can be so much more than that. And if, if you just are editing and you're thinking like, oh, wow, like I wish there was a way that I can make my text move up and down on the screen as an example. You can do that all, right away and I can show you in three seconds. But that's an example of like you're editing your video or whoever's on your team is editing their video and they come with that like piece of inspiration that allows them to research what their question is and develop that learning, develop that knowledge. <laughs> I'll be honest, I've done it in the past and I've had to follow a YouTube video along while I did it. I typed in, I use Adobe Premiere Pro. So I typed in Premiere Pro um, credits, like um, text credits. And it, it's a very simple, it's just, it's, you know, it's, a, it's an all text, it's all text. And you just say, you put in your, your, the credits and it's gonna be a moving animation. So you're gonna tell it where you want the animation to start. For example, you want it to start at the bottom of your screen. And then you're gonna tell, tell it, say, hey, I also want it to stop up here. I'm speaking in broad terms. That's sort of the general essence of it. To answer your question, yes, it is. Um, you'll just, you'll have to, when you get to that part of the video, you'll look up, um, the software we're using, let's, uh, we use Resolve. So we'll say DaVinci Resolve um, credits, tutorial. And dollars to donuts, there's 500 videos explaining. Again, thank you very much uh, for uh, one, giving me this opportunity. It was, it was a lot of fun putting the presentation together and presenting it to you guys. Um, my email is at the end of that PowerPoint. I think it's also in that email circulation that came out with the Zoom link. So if there are questions, please ask me. Um, I know I spoke quickly and I know we covered a lot in two hours. It's very overwhelming. So please reach out again. Also, don't be afraid to look up information, look up questions you don't know. Everything is out there. And I really truly cannot wait uh, to see what, what you're all able to put together for the contest. Well, I would, I would like to thank you, uh, Ryan, on behalf of the RCAA for putting this oh. together for us. Um, oh, I'm happy to. Thank also, you. also I, did, I did notice you had some excellent resources, some links there at the, uh, on your um, slideshow. And what I couldn't do and until such time as we can get those videos up and loaded, what I can do is forward that slideshow, because I do have a copy of it, to all of the participants today. Uh, yes. and they can get a head start on everybody else who didn't manage to make it today. <laughs> yeah.